What kind of conditions are we seeing off the coast of Florida? Well, the eye wall is where you have the strongest winds, and that eye wall is literally making landfall as we speak near the Tampa area. Uh, also, we're seeing some hurricane force winds near Sarasota, and the strongest uh, storm surge is going to be just south of Tampa, down towards Sarasota and even Port Charlotte. Here's the big picture. We've had dozens of tornado warnings today across Florida. Florida. You can see the eye wall. Most of it's still off the coast, but the strongest winds are right around the eye wall. You can see heavy rain, heavy winds around the Tampa area right now. Here's that eye wall. It's Sarasota right now, and you can see that pushing onshore. So that's where the strongest winds are happening. Right now, we're looking at 120 mile per hour sustained winds. It is a category three. That is a major hurricane. Substantial rain. It will move across the state of Florida overnight and back into the Atlantic tomorrow and then out to sea. So it will be moving away from the East Coast. It's not going to be pushing up through the Carolinas like what we saw with Helene. Here's our storm surge forecast and you can see the most storm surge is going to be on that right front quadrant of the storm from Sarasota down through Port Charlotte. So this also includes places like Venice Beach that we could see anywhere from 10 to 15 feet of storm surge in those areas. A lot also around the Port Charlotte area, 10 to 12 feet. Fort Myers down through the Naples area, looking at under 10 feet of storm surge. But we're also going to see some storm surge across the no northeast coast, even on the Jacksonville side. So still a very dangerous storm, a long night ahead with heavy winds, heavy rain. We'll have more on that coming up in just a few minutes. Tram.